divide. Simplify the answer and write as a mixed number. And we have 2 and 1 fourth divided by 1 and 3 fourths. So the first thing we want to do, since both of these are mixed numbers, is to convert them both into improper fractions. So let's start with 2 and 1 fourth. So we're still going to have 4 in the denominator. But instead of 2 and 1 fourth, remember 2 is the same thing as 8 fourths. So we have 8 fourths, and then we have another 1 fourth that gives us 9 fourths. Or another way to come up with this 9, you take 4, you take 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 1. That gives you 9. And then the 1 and 3 fourths, same process. You're going to have 4 in the denominator. And then the numerator is going to be 4 times 1, which is 4, plus 3, which is 7. So this is the exact same problem here. 2 and 1 fourth divided by 1 and 3 fourths is the same thing as 9 fourths divided by 7 fourths. And we saw in several videos already that dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So this is equivalent to, this is equivalent to, so these are all equivalent, this is equivalent to 9 fourths times times the reciprocal of this. We're taking, changing the division operation to a multiplication, and we're taking the reciprocal of the 7 fourths. So the reciprocal of 7 fourths, you swap the numerator and the denominator, or the top number and the bottom number, and you get 4 over 7. Now, we could just multiply these. We could just say this is 9 times 4, which would be 36, over 4 times 7, which is 28, and then try to put it in lowest terms. Or we could do it right now, because it would be simpler. We have a 4 in the numerator. We have a 4 in the denominator, or that will eventually be in the denominator. So let's divide our eventual numerators and our de eventual denominators both by 4. So you divide this 4 by 4, you get 1. This 4 by 4, you get 1. So now when you multiply it, you get 9 times 1, which is 9 over 1 times 7, which is 7. So we have our answer, but it's right now it's an improper fraction. They want us to write it as a mixed number. And to figure out it as a mixed number, and we can do it in our heads now, I think we've seen this enough times, we say how many times does 7, how many times does 7 go into 9? Well, it goes into it exactly one time. But when you take 7 into 9 one time, what do you have left over? We're going to have 2 left over, right? 7 times 1 is 7, and you're going to have 2 left over. You need 2 more to get to 9. So you're going to have 2 left over. So this is 1 and 2 sevenths. And we're done.